DangerousTrailers.org and DangerousRVs.org. Now, this person here is driving a camping trailer or an RV, towing a vehicle, and they're using, look, look how he's swaying, see? He's swaying back and forth, back and forth, and they're doing it with just a car license. You don't need anything else. 80, 85, 90, 98 year old people can drive an RV and have up to 16 people in the back with an ordinary car license and with no seat belts. Isn't that ironic? Now, more people who drive this contraption will kill more people than a teenager who's texting and driving. Why is that? In 2022, because a vehicle, if an accident was going to happen, is designed to get hit by a car. Your vehicle is not designed to get hit by a 25,000, 40,000, 35, whatever you want to call these things, being driven by a person with an ordinary car license. Now, if the person driving an RV wanted to drive a motorcycle in all 50 states, including the 98-year-old man who killed the girls in Florida, dangerousrvs.org, that person would need to take a test in order to get a motorcycle license. But my question is, not an RV? So, my fellow Americans, would you rather get hit by a guy riding a motorcycle who's 98 years old? Or a person getting get hit by a person driving this RV trailer sway with no experience, no certification on towing these kind of things. DangerousTrailers.org and DangerousRVs.org. We simply ask the question, if a person who's 98 can drive one of these things with a car license, not a motorcycle, something's very wrong here.